you spent hundreds of dollars on your own BCD, how well do you maintain it? If you're like most of the divers I work with, the answer is not well. Not well at all. How hard can it be to rinse your BCD? The answer is, it's not. And I know what you're thinking, a little rinsey rinse, sploogey splooge, and you're done, right? Not so fast. If you wanna keep your BCD in good working order and maximize its lifespan, you're gonna wanna watch this. As with all of your gear, the best time for a rinse is as soon as possible after your dive. Once salt has dried and crusted onto your gear, it's a lot harder to get out. Give the outside of the BCD a really thorough rinse all over. If there are any zippers, unzip and rezip them a few times under fresh water to prevent them from corroding. Pay special attention to your dump valves. Unless you want your BCD to become the next great science experiment, pay attention to this next part. It is just as important to rinse the inside of your BCD as the outside. You heard me. As you're venting air from your BCD during a dive, you're not just venting air, you're actually also letting a little bit of water in. Depending on your technique, maybe a lot of water. And everything in that water too. If you're a saltwater diver, that means salt. And even if you're a freshwater diver, there's algae and microbes and all kinds of nasties. The damp interior of your BCD is fertile ground for this stuff to take on a life of its own. Salt crystals can crust up your dump valves and even create a puncture risk for the bladder. That's why this next part is so important. Empty the nasty water from inside your BC. To do this, manually inflate by holding down the deflate button as you blow and let go of the deflate button between breaths. Get it as full of air as you can, then flip it upside down, aim the hose at the ground, and hold down the deflate button to drain. Now hold down the deflate button, which will open an airway to the inside of the bladder. Keep the inflator hose positioned so the water can flow freely in and aim the freshwater stream right into the opening. Don't fill it all the way, but do get a good amount of water in there. Fill it up with air again. Swish the fresh water all around the inside. Now start emptying fresh water through your dump valves. Make sure the dump valve is at the lowest point each time so the water easily flows down and out. Add more fresh water and repeat with the remaining dump valves. And finally, through the inflator hose, pressing both the inflate and deflate buttons so the entire mechanism gets a nice, fresh water rinse. Keep the hose straight to give the water a clear path. Squeezing the BC against your body will help force the water out. You can buy a BC washout hose adapter that connects your garden hose to your BC inflator, and it can make something like this go a lot faster. I don't use one because I'm just too lazy to remove my adjustable garden hose head and I find that the stream setting on it works pretty well for this purpose. But if you're interested in something like that, I'll put a link in the description below. Inflate your BC and dump the water again. Repeat as many times as you need to make sure it's as empty as possible. Remember to rinse your weight pockets too. Always store your BCD partially inflated, with enough air to keep the inside bladder walls from touching, but not so much that it's putting stress on the seams. Hang it on a BCD hanger. That's the kind with these little fingers on the ends to keep the straps from sliding off. Hang it somewhere clean, dry, and out of direct sunlight. Come back after a day or so and empty any water that's dripped down and collected at the bottom of the bladder. If you don't have easy access to a hose and rinse area, you can just do this in your shower. It's a little easier with a removable shower head, but if you don't have one of those, you can use a pitcher to rinse the inside of the bladder or other hard to reach spots. The advantage of doing this in your shower is access to warm water, which is better at dissolving salt. It should be warm, but not hot. 
You can use a gear rinse tank if you're lucky enough to have access to one, but even that isn't the best way to get rid of all the salt and grime, especially if there are other divers that use the tank before you. That's why it's always a good idea to end your routine with an actual freshwater rinse. A good freshwater rinse after every day of diving is ideal, but every once in a while, you're gonna wanna get a good, deep, soaking clean in a tub or a deep sink with warm water and a cleaning agent. I do this at least once a year and after every trip where I'm doing a ton of diving. There are some good commercial cleaners out there that do a nice job dissolving salt and getting rid of microbes and gunk both inside and out. I personally like GearAid's RevivX BCD Cleaner, but there's other good options out there. I'll provide a few links in the description below. If you wanna use a homemade recipe, just be very careful. You don't wanna use anything that's gonna be harsh on your gear, would fail to clean thoroughly, or leave a sudsy or even toxic residue. Some divers will actually unscrew and remove a dump valve to do the inside rinse and hang it up to dry with that dump valve off. While it can make it easier and faster to rinse and dry, I don't do this. I find it's just too easy to cross thread a dump valve when you're trying to get it back on or wreck a gasket or something. Not to mention misplacing or losing that dump valve, which would be very on brand for me. As long as you're coming back to dump out any extra water and periodically doing a deep clean on your BCD, it's fine. Now you know how I do it. Is there anything you do differently? Share your knowledge and recommendations in the comments. Until next time, dive safe, dive responsibly, and always have fun.